Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Z the Beauty here and you guys, girls, we gotta talk. Girl, I never do no relationship, uh, but I promise you the real shit, real shit. Now we got to talk about this wig that I got on. This mermaid wavy hair that I got on that you probably want to know the details about. Boo boo, this wig is I said it, the wig is It looks pretty, but it's And I'ma I'm get to why it's You know, I have my phone out and everything ready to tell you all the information, even though I, I probably wouldn't really recommend this. I'ma get to it, all right. This hair I bought off of AliExpress, and I feel like the name of the vendor changed. The vendor's name is Black Girl Wig. I'm pretty sure it was something else, but that is the current name, Black Girl Wig. And the name of this wig is called Bombshell 180 Density Blue Bouncy Curly Heat Resistant Fiber Hand Tied Synthetic Lace Front Wig Natural Hairline for Women Wigs. Long name, but you know how AliExpress is when they put the full description as the name. This wig was originally longer, but I cut it short because, you know, I liked it long, but I really, really wasn't feeling it that much. It is a synthetic wig. Okay. It's not that bad because it is synthetic, so it gets what it needs to be done. But I still think it's kind of sh like I had better synthetic wigs. This is probably due to the color. Usually when I get very light colored synthetic wigs, they tend to mess up quicker. I think it's because of the color or the processing, but they tend to mess up quicker. Let me just get in there so you guys can see what's going on. Um, and I think I spent like 40 something dollars on it. I think I got like maybe the second longest or longest length. I spent $41.34. Pretty sure that's coming from somewhere in Asia. And I will probably insert a picture of how the wig looked on the site. And I'll probably insert a picture of how the wig looked when I wore it the first time. Cause when I had it, it was long. I think, I'm pretty sure it was like maybe 22, 24, 26 inches. Like I'm pretty sure I got the longest length. I usually get very long lengths and I, I trim it to my face and I probably cut this hair twice. I cut it when I just got it. Let's backtrack a little. So this is a full lace front. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I've been gone off of YouTube and I, I don't even but, know. This but. is a full lace front wig. The hair, it does not come with any baby hairs. So I had to create baby hairs. It's not that difficult to use like a razor. I use my eyebrow razor to create it. But I created baby hairs here and made it a side part. It has multiple like little parts and the color is very beautiful and that's what attracted me to this wig. I wanted blue hair and usually when I, I had blue hair a few years ago, but usually when I want to do colors, I try synthetic wigs first to see how the colors look on me, even though I haven't seen a color that looks bad on me. And that's but, something I advise the people if you want to try color, get a synthetic wig first because you know it's cheap. If it doesn't end up good, you didn't spend that much money on it. Don't just get a human hair wig with the color and you don't like it, then you want to change it, you might mess it up, but synthetic hair, if you mess it up, you don't lose that much. wig. And I think it's most because it's very frizzy, which is how I ended up cutting it this short. When it was long, I just didn't like it that much. And it's easy for the tracks to show on top if I don't cover it properly. So I don't like how the tracks were laid on this wig. It is big head friendly though, which is nice. I'm saying the wig is trash because I've experienced better synthetic wigs, but I mean, it gets the job done. This is not something that I would ever, I never sleep in with synthetic wigs. And this is definitely a wig you would never want to sleep in because you might wake up in it. <laughs> This is not something I would wear every day. It's been easier to wear as it like short and it starts to make contact with your clothes. It becomes frizzy and just too much. Basically, if you want like something for the weekend or you're going to a show and you want to step out, this is the wig for that. Even though I was kind of wearing it every time I stepped outside for the past few weeks, I've been wearing it. But this is not that kind of wig that you should just be like. Don't expect much, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I get it if you, you want some blue hair and you know, you don't wanna spend some money. I don't know what else to say. <sighs> this is not that type of wig, especially if it doesn't come with baby hairs and if you don't know how to cut your baby hair, you might just be a hot mess wearing a lace front with no baby hairs, looking crazy. 
Now you guys, I wanted to make myself a little bit clearer on what I mean when the wig needs baby hairs. Now if you have a wig with a not so natural hairline and the hairline is just round shaped, like these few images that I'm going to show you right now. <laughs> Tragic, right? Now, if they had some baby hairs, it might help. Besides the lady who has her lace front directly on her forehead, but that is a that's another special case. Now, if you do not know how to shape your shape your frontals, aka your lace front wigs, baby hairs could help the appearance with that wig drastically, and you could look like this instead. Now, you don't have to do all those swirls and stuff, but you get the point. You have some baby hairs, you could gel it down, and even if you have a round shape lace front, it will help a lot. But yeah, back to the video. And I don't want you guys to do that. So if you don't know how to cut and style wigs, this is not the wig for you. If you have a friend who could do it for you, let her help you. Whenever my friend has a wig, she asks me to help her with the wig. If you don't got a friend, don't get this wig. Don't get this wig. This is my review on this wig. I'm gonna leave the details below and you could check that out. And if you wanna buy it, go ahead and buy it. But thanks for watching, you guys. See you soon.